Hi folks, um, I was asked yesterday to do a video of how to use the vector with the E, e key. And um, here it is. So first things first, if you want to use the E key app while you're using it for MIDI on your thing, you have to open up the application first, as in you only have the USB connection going. You do not have your regular MIDI going. You just have the app going, I mean the USB plugged in to your computer, open up the app, make sure all the buttons on the bottom come up to show that it is indeed using the, um, the application. Because right now, as you can see, there's no buttons lit up here except for the outer two, which means that it is in strict regular MIDI mode. So if you want to use it with the app to, to deal with your octaves, transposing, your arpeggiator, what scales you want to do and all that sort of stuff, then you open up your app, plug in your USB with the, not, not with the MIDI installed, and um, then you can use it. However, for today's purposes, I'm going to keep it kind of simple. I'm just going to use it in straight up MIDI mode. It's only being powered by the USB at this moment in time. Hence, it looks like it is. Okay. So I was having a hard time because it's got X, Y, up and down. It's got three axis, three axis um, MPE on here. Pressure, side to side, up and down. So regularly, side to side comes is default as... Um, Pitch bend, up, down, up, down. Oh, why are you just being a little bit of a goofball? Okay, let's plug you in again. Hmm. Let's try that one more time here because I am having some difficulties. Pete's sakes. Okay. Well, I'm just going to use USB MIDI then. It doesn't matter. It's imperfect. Yes, I know. B but it works. Okay. There we go. So, as said, you have three axis of um, MPE. Pressure, left, right, up, and down. Left and right are a standard, a default as a pitch bend. So, to the right, up, to the left, down. However, and oh yeah, and the velocity is mapped too by default. However, your up and down access is not. So, what you have to do is you go in through your menus. Let's see. Zoom in. You get into your menus, okay? And you can see how there's all these sorts of things here. What's really kind of what I thought was a bit of a problem was that you can't reassign MIDI values. You can't just say change a knob on the E key to represent CC26, for example, right? However, what's nice about this is that the things that you really need do match. Because you can see, if you look in really closely here, you can see pitch bend moving. If I go here, oh fuck, are you off again? So you can see pitch band kind of working. Anyways, it's there. Um, so what you get to do though is, let's just say you want to assign your up down access to filter resonance. You pick this, you click over here, go ah, okay. So the MIDI CC value for up and down is 74. So you pick your 74 and then you can, if, I don't know, just, it's been a little buggy today, but this is how it works. You can see that with enough pressure and doing stuff like that, you can, oh, right, I mapped it. I, <laughs> that's why it's not doing it. I, I switched the um, up, down axis and left, right axis, which you can do, th so now you can see, my apologies. Um, up and down is pitch bend. So you can see if you're looking at the pitch bend, which is this one right here, up, down, up, down. And then you can see the brightness 
which is MIDI CC value 74, is added, is um, operating my filter resonance, which is left right. So you can see it down here, this is left right. Boom, 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 boom. So that's super easy. I found that really lovely. And it's, it's actually works pretty well. So you can just take this and go, okay, you know, nothing's connected here. I want to actually change my overtone blend with the left, with left and right. And there you go. Overtone blends left and right. You just need to do that on. And what you need to do is enable your MPE. Yeah. And if you want to use your Eki for that, you got to go and make sure that you're in the second set of page menu. So I'm going to move this over a little bit and zoom in here. You're going to want to press this, press up and make sure that you have this first knob blue. That wants to be blue because now blue means that it, the MP full functionality MPE is up and running. This is on your second page of settings when your Eki is in just standard MIDI plugged in mode, not using the app. Okay. And if you want to change, as I did and I forgot about, if you want to change the swap the access, where did we go from here? I forgot. Oh my God. I honestly, my brain is having a meltdown. <sighs> Switch, okay. MIDI polyphony Zen is in blah, 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 blah. Cl Aha, there we go. Clicking this encoder here, number two, you swap. You swap whether it is up and down is pitch bend or whether pitch bend is left and right. And then you have the other access to fill in with whatever you want over here. I really hope this helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.